Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. A few years ago, I did a video on making cowboy coffee with my Jet Bull flash system. And although it worked, it, it wasn't perfect. It certainly wasn't very practical. Now I love making cowboy coffee. It's pretty much my favorite way to make coffee when I'm in camp. So I wanted to show you guys a little more traditional way to do it here on the channel. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out a pretty cool enameled coffee warmer from GSI, specifically made just to warm your coffee but in this case, we're gonna use it to make cowboy coffee. Thanks for watching, guys. It's raining now. Now, like I said in my prior video here about cowboy coffee, Cowboy Kent Rollins is the one that really popularized it here on YouTube. He has a great video explaining it. I'll leave a link down below. All credit to him. Make sure you check out his video and his channel for that matter. It's really, really cool. Now the point of making cowboy coffee is to reduce the acidity and the bitterness that you get a lot of times with black coffee. A lot of people don't like drinking straight black coffee. I really don't like drinking straight black coffee and this is the only kind of black coffee that I really find okay. In fact, it's pretty darn good. The procedure is very simple. We're gonna show you guys that real quick. But before we do that, let me show you this GSI enamel coffee warmer that really makes this process very, very simple. So this is what GSI calls the six cup coffee pot for storing hot coffee. It's basically a coffee warmer. It comes in three cup, six cup, and eight cup sizes. It is important to note this is not, and I repeat, not a percolator. This is just a container that you can use to boil water, uh, heat water, or keep your coffee nice and warm. Dimensions are 7.1 by 5.1 by 7.7 .7, and it weighs 14.6 ounces. This is enameled steel and the price is a very reasonable $18. Once again, not a percolator, just a container. As I said, technically designed to keep your drink warm, but also perfect for making cowboy coffee. of you know I mentioned earlier that I love heavy cream in my coffee no sweetener or anything just heavy cream and without question the number one comment I get here on the channel is how much I ruin my coffee with my heavy cream the ugly truth is that um, you don't put enough in yours despite liking my coffee creamy I really do like this cowboy coffee I can drink it black not a problem at all the bitterness is definitely gone it is the only black coffee that I really will drink if you're not a black coffee drinker and you want to give it a try, try out this method. It makes a noticeable difference and the black coffee is much less bitter, and more palatable, at least to me. Every time I do this, it surprises me how different the coffee tastes in regular brewed black coffee. And this product from GSI is awesome for less than $20. It is not a percolator. Make sure you realize that it is just to keep your coffee warm when you're out there in camp. It's perfect for making this cowboy coffee because you don't need a percolator. So check it out, I'll leave a link down below. So what do you guys think about cowboy coffee? What do you think about this GSI product? Make sure you leave a comment down below. I do have to tell y'all one more dirty little secret. Cowboy coffee with heavy cream in it is the bomb. Do me a big favor guys, if you like the video, 
make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you comment down below. All those things, all that interaction, whether it be commenting or thumbs up, really helps spread things across YouTube. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button, and if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell, and you will be the first to know. Really appreciate everyone's support recently. Very much enjoying my time here in Arkansas. Even though it's a little rainy today, I got a lot of indoor videos to shoot today. Lots of stove videos for you guys coming up, so stay tuned for that. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.